Hey world, what up? As the NBA season for 2021 will be concluding in around a month and a half to two, somewhere in that mix, I believe around July or so. Um, yeah, I believe it's around July, but getting back on topic, it's always about legacy. It's always about what ifs in NBA players' careers and their legacy. And we're going to go within this video here about potentially whoever wins this championship, what star player how much will impact their legacy and who needs to win this NBA championship the most? Now, there's different variables coming within this conversation. You do have Kawhi Leonard within his camp needing a championship for the Battle of LA. And as well as pretty much they're one of the most loaded teams in the Western Conference. Now, they're down 0-2 the Dallas Mavericks and looks like they're probably going to get bounced in the first round. And be exposed again once again in the NBA playoffs early in the Western Conference. So, that's a huge hit on his part. You're going to look at the other contenders for the L.A. Lakers with LeBron James. This is going to be a huge momentum for him to win the championship, to get in that class alone with him and Michael Jordan, and some people could proclaim him as the GOAT. Now, if it's a situation to where he loses early in the playoffs or even in the finals, um, it'll take a hit. Some is not some not as much others because they most people do have him as the Mount Rushmore the NBA. Um, but winning this championship would be huge, especially going against the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, we can look with Giannis Antetokounmpo with the Bucks, Him being around 26, 27 years of age and winning a championship, um, especially going against the Brooklyn Nets in round two and potentially going against the Lakers in the finals. Of course, that would be huge for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Most people will proclaim him as the best player in the world. And pretty much that max extension for five years with Milwaukee makes the most sense then. You know, by winning that championship. Of course, being an all time great with two regular season MVPs. Do I expect the Bucks and Giannis? No. Do I expect the Clippers? No. The Lakers? I say they have the best chance out there as my picks. Now, with the Brooklyn Nets, with Kevin Durant, this puts Kevin Durant in a peculiar situation because he did have a super team with the Golden State Warriors when he joined that 73 and 9 team, winning back to back championships. Um, he only played Game 5 of the 2019 Finals for a couple of minutes in the first quarter and pretty much tore his ACL, and he was done for a year, and he was out of there. But then going with Brooklyn, he now has a super team. So they are the quote-unquote favorites to win the championship as of right now. If he wins this championship, you know, it's not going to affect too many people on their all-time rankings, let alone Kevin Durant's accomplishments because he had to stack up James Harden, Blake Griffin, and so on and so forth. So it is what it is on that part. Um, and there's a couple other players, but we'll go down the list within here on First Things First. Thank you for asking, Jenna. And the three players you're seeing here in Russ, Tatum, and Ja, they're not included. Not because they don't have a ton to gain, but I only included guys who are on teams that have a realistic shot, at least a semi-realistic shot of winning the title. Real quick. I end in the Western Conference, the realistic shots of winning the title before the playoffs for me. Um, to win the championship for the West had to be the L.A. Lakers alone. Now, to make the finals potentially for me was the L.A. Lakers. And if anyone else it would have to be the L.A. Clippers. I do understand the Phoenix Suns and the Jazz are in the first and second seed. But still, they're not within that tier of making the finals and let alone winning a championship. They've had nice, empowering seasons. No one expected them to be number one or two seed. I'll give them the props, but I expect the Suns to be bounced in the first round to the Lakers. And with the Utah Jazz, they're most likely going to get bounced in the second round, let alone in the conference finals. So for me, I've always had, even though the Lakers are a seven seed, they still have had that championship contending, let alone that foundation. Um, and it looks like the Clippers are going to be bounced here in the first round. So who knows about that? In the Eastern Conference, of winning a championship would have to be the Brooklyn Nets. Um, and then the rest for me would to potentially make the finals. Of course, the Nets, number one. Number two would have to be the 76ers. And then potentially you could maybe throw in the Milwaukee Bucks. Maybe, maybe. Besides that, there's really four teams for me. The Lakers, the Nets, the Sixers, and the Bucks that can make the finals. To win the championship, the Lakers or the Nets. That's why I'm expecting a Lakers and Nets NBA Finals as it is. But yes, everyone else in that bottom tier, no, not worthy of that conversation. That way we could pare it down. Number 10, LeBron James. Why is he so low on the list? 
<laughs> Listen, Nick Wright is a fanboy for LeBron James, as we've known for the last three to four seasons or so. But no, LeBron James, if anything, should be top three. Most likely for me, it's going to have to be number one on the list. This is, listen, the NBA for the last 10 seasons, nine out of the last finals have been LeBron James. So basically, if you're an NBA fan, you're pretty much forced to follow LeBron James's career because he's been making the finals pretty much every year or so. So this is pretty much the LeBron James show if you've been watching the NBA for the past decade, even the past decade and a half. LeBron James has the most to gain from winning this championship due to him and his fans and the media proclaiming LeBron's either the GOAT in that debate as Michael Jordan versus LeBron James or in that mix. My position, LeBron is number four all time in my rankings. I've already stated if the LA Lakers, and I expect, but if the Lakers win this championship, it does not matter to me against the 76ers, Nets, or Bucks. But LeBron James will leapfrog and become the second greatest player of all time. And he will still have to catch one more title at least to be even with Michael Jordan. So LeBron James has a lot, the most to gain from the championship on my list within here. He's 36 years of age. He has Anthony Davis in his prime. And this is a pivotal year for LeBron James to win a championship. I mean, the Warriors did not have Klay Thompson. So they were, you know, one of the main teams out of the picture. Um... The Clippers are a mess as it is. You know, the West right now, like I stated, the Jazz and the Suns are not going to beat the Lakers, man. The Lakers are going to go through the Western Conference, and they're only going to have to look at a team. A, a true threat is going to have to be the Brooklyn Nets. Anyone else with the 76ers or Bucks, the Lakers can beat them. But the time is ticking on LeBron's career. Father time does kick in, and this is the most pivotal time for LeBron to win a championship. So he's probably going to have to be... Number one on my list, the most to gain from this championship. Because, again, if and when he wins this championship, he goes from Mount Rushmore, the NBA, to immediately top two in people's list or, you know, the GOAT for some people. Well, when you're already at the top of Everest, when you're already the GOAT, what more is there to gain? I guess you could jump or something. But and that's why he said that. He wants to say LeBron's the GOAT, so any other achievements um, will pretty much be sugar on top, cherry on top. I know how Nick Wright plays this game. He's already there, so not much to gain. Number nine. No, no. LeBron is in the Mount Rushmore of the NBA. He's number four all time. He's not number two all time. He's not the GOAT. You can make a debate for three, whatever. But he's number four for me ever since he won that 2020 chip. Um, LeBron has to win two more championships to pretty much make a very good argument for the GOAT. But that's, that's a year or two away. <laughs> KD does have a decent amount to gain because it validates his decision to go to Brooklyn. And he would become just the fourth guy ever, potentially, to win finals MVP for two different franchises. However, because he didn't play so much this year and the story this year really was more hardened than Durant, it really would depend yep. on how the finals look if KD is going to get the full validation, but obviously still a ton to gain. Number eight on the list, Kawhi. You guys remember those six months when folks tried to convince you he was the best player alive and how laughable that was? Well, <laughs> if two months from now he's holding the trophy, it would not be laughable. He would be able to join LeBron as the only guy to win finals MVP for three franchises, and it would obviously totally validate his decision to go to the... Let's say this, and it's not objective, but it is what it is. Kawhi Leonard will never be winning another NBA championship ever again since he won with Toronto. I said this around a year ago or a couple months ago. No way the NBA would support the idea of having Kawhi Leonard with three finals MVPs with three different championships. That was the narrative for LeBron James, and that's the way it's going to be. I doubt we're ever going to see another player ever reach three finals MVPs with three different franchises. That narrative is for LeBron. They're locking and sealing it in. LA Clippers and make the Clippers and Lakers a real rivalry for the first time ever. Number seven, Joel Embiid. It would essentially finish a near perfect season, aside from the injury. And it would show you he fully realized the potential we saw from him in flashes at the University of Kansas. And the only yep. question mark with him was always about health. But if he carries this team all the way to the finals, 
he might become the face of the league. In fact, everyone left on the list could become the face of the league. Number six, Nikola Jokic. Only 10 guys ever have won regular season MVP and finals MVP in the same season. It's Willis Reed plus nine of the 14 greatest players in the history of the sport. Nikola Jokic could join that list if the Nuggets end up winning the championship. Well, the Nuggets turn out to be one of the bottom tiers for me since Jamal Murray is out. I expect the Nuggets to be bounced most likely in the second round against the LA Lakers. If not that, then be bounced in a first round series against Portland. Most likely for me, I expect the Lakers and Nuggets to match up in the second round. So, um, and that'd be a pretty simple series for the LA Lakers. So, Jokic should not be on this list. If number five, Dame. You know, I've been working on this project of the 50 best players of the last 50 years for about 18 months. And when I whittled it down, I'm like, my goodness, Dame, not on the list. If he were to win the title, not only does he skyrocket the, up these all-time lists, it validates his I will stay here and build it around Ooh. me approach while everyone else is yep. moving around and trying to bring guys with them. And yeah, but that's not happening. They're most Damian Lillard is most likely have always been bounced in the first round. If not that, probably two, three times in the second round. He only made one conference finals. Which is going to be the peak of his career being a number one option. And I've stated that. Damian Lillard is not going to make an NBA Finals as a number one option with Portland ever. I don't want to hear that. Let alone he's never going to win a championship as a number one guy. So that's not happening. Will he be one of the most to gain from this? I mean, you can say that with any person in general. But no way the Blazers are going to beat LeBron James Lakers. Let alone a Brooklyn Nets big three tandem. How your guys with the most to gain far and away. Number four, Chris Paul. Right, if the Sun time player, really with the path he has to go on, he has more to gain than anybody. So there it is. Your 10 guys, right. Brandon, with the most. Uh, no, no. See, the only players that actually are legitimate to win a championship are going to have to be LeBron James on this list. Kevin Durant. And that's pretty much it. You know what? You could throw Giannis in there as, you know, a monkey ball within there. James Harden and Kevin Durant, that's a that's an interesting situation. Even though James Harden does win a finals MVP. But they'll still proclaim Kevin Durant's the best player out there. And they'll give Kevin Durant the finals MVP. James Harden will make sure that Kevin Durant gets it. Because James Harden understands the big picture of deferring and so on and so forth. Um... But no, I mean, Kevin Durant has a quote-unquote super team. And the Nets, if they do beat the Lakers, or if they do beat a, you know, let's just say the Jazz or someone, for example, no one's going to give the credit to the Brooklyn Nets. It's not going to affect Kevin Durant's legacy as much, anything at all. So no. For James Harden, let's just say Kevin Durant's hurt or does not perform and Harden balls out, get finals MVP, then sure, you know, he's one of the top three to most of the game. But it's going to have to go to LeBron James because he's on the mission to become the quote-unquote GOAT and a fifth championship, let alone beating the Sixers or the Nets, will elevate him on a higher status. And you know how it goes on the big picture of things. Gain from a championship this season. Phenomenal. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. It's entertaining. And uh, it's hard to debate this, Nick. You, and like I always tell you, I'm with you when you write, buddy. Uh, so I'll be quick here. There's two things that I want to highlight. Number 10, LeBron James. There's so much more meat left on that bone. Uh, when you talk about... In 2005, Dr. Pepper sent three flavorists into a vault to perfect the impossible. Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Today, they finally emerged. We did it! 23 flavors with zero sugar. What took so long? Huh? The zero you deserve is finally here. Uh, you know, what's out there for him to gain? It's the GOAT. I know you have him... At Bingo. ...as the GOAT right now. But it is, sure. uh, uh, it isn't even a debate, a conversation. If he wins one more, if he gets to five, I mean, he is the GOAT when you look at longevity and you look at how he's impacted this game on the court and off the court. It, it really puts him right there in that discussion. And then the third guy on, on your list, 
uh, James Harden. To me, he's the biggest innovator in basketball the last 15, 20 years. You know, when you think about the crossover, you think about Allen Iverson. When you think about the fadeaway, you think about who? You think about MJ. So for him, this little, whatever this thing they call the shuffle, shuffle the shot. Step back. I, I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's not even a step back. I don't even know what you call that. It's, you know, years ago, we were like, is that a travel? <laughs> Remember when he first introduced it to the league? Everybody, yep. is that a travel? So for me, for a guy like this, who's been the biggest innovator in the sport the last 10 to 15 or 15, 20 years without a championship, he has a lot to gain. So phenomenal job laying this out. And, uh, you know, well done, buddy. Yeah. Man off there. Most of the game is going to have to be LeBron James. Pretty simple. He's got the most, the most storyline. I mean, he's trying to chase the goat. So there's going to be more substance for that. Um, the top four for me is going to have to be LeBron James. You're going to have to throw Kevin Durant and James Harden. Then Giannis Antetokounmpo, maybe at five, Luka, but let's keep it realistic. The Mavericks are not winning the championship. The Bucks are not winning the championship. It's either going to be the Lakers or Nets, and I already have my pick for the Lakers for a hot minute, and which I expect to go down with. So, goat tings are up in the air for Mr. LeBron James. Let's see how the narrative goes up even more in a couple of weeks.